Hi guys, so my article that I read for the In The News is um, titled Pre-K through 12 EdTech Investments to Plunge in 2019, Bucking Overall Learning Tech Trend. And this article is from Education Week. So the article um, pretty much just dug into the reasoning of why in 2019 um, Pre-K through 12 grades um, like funding like went down by a lot um, in 2019 for technology, which was weird because in 2019, um, all the other like education levels like college and uh, like higher, I guess too, um, they actually like increased their funding in 2019. And so it was interesting to see that um, pre-K through 12 did not follow that trend, but um, the data shows that 50% of the funding was cut out from the 2018 budget, resulting in 84 pre-K through 12 deals costing $855.32 million being made this year compared to the 144 deals um, costing $1.42 billion made last year. And the only reasonings that they're able to come up with was that um, maybe schools are keeping their older technology so that they can save up and um, afford the newer technologies, um, maybe in like 2020 or later. Um, and the connections that I made from this article to ELLs and technology was that since it focuses on pre-K through 12 schools, it directly connects to the ELLs in public schools in America um, in those grades. And the article explains that 2019 set a new record for technology segments. And it was just that pre-K through 12 tech investments were the ones to decline while um, higher educations increased. Um, meaning that newer technology was not accounted for in pre-K through 12 um, public schools budgets. And so older models are the ones that are being used in schools today or like in this year. And um, how like that could affect students if they don't have like the newer technology. And so two questions that I had for everyone to consider were, um, like the first one was just like, did your class have like newer technology um, growing up like in middle school and in high school? And um, just like, I guess like maybe list like a few technologies that you guys had in the classroom. And then the second question was, what are the benefits of having new technology? And yeah, that's it. Thanks guys.